When viewed from a microscope, the world that we all know and love is a strange and mysterious place. The following electron microscope images shows us what our planet looks like for the organisms that are truly tiny. There are close-up images of the things that we consume, use and encounter on a day-to-day -day basis. So take a moment to see your everyday world anew. A monarch butterfly's head This is a staple poking through a paper. These may look like plants but they're actually human eyelash hairs. Dollar bills just like other currencies have micro scale details to prevent counterfeiting. Some of the texts in the following images are so tiny reading them with the naked eye would be extremely difficult. A close observation of the print also shows how the printing press actually creates physical imprints as opposed to the two-dimensional marks of the inkjet printing. A cat flea pictured among cat hairs. A close-up view of red grip. Apple cider vinegar bacteria metabolize sugars and oxidize alcohols present in apple cider and produce acetic acid which in its diluted form is called vinegar. Bacteria in the commercial products eventually die. Floret of a chamomile flower. The sting of a honeybee compared with the point of a needle. The tip of the sting is armed with backward sloping barbs which make it difficult to remove once it's embedded in skin. This sting of the honeybee was originally an egg-laying organ that evolved into a weapon of defense. Nylon Fabric Chocolate cake magnified 320 times. Crystals of albumin from a blood clot. Albumin is the most abundant protein in the blood plasma. When the skin is cut, small blood vessels are ruptured, releasing blood. Some proteins in the blood plasma such as albumin harden in the air to form crystals over the wound. Other blood proteins then help form a clot over the wound, preventing excessive blood loss and keeping the wound free of bacteria and other foreign bodies. A lighter. This image shows the surface of a mosquito egg which generates a water repellent network by connecting microscopically small structures to trap a thin layer of air. The important structures avoid immersion and enable the egg to float and aggregate with neighboring eggs. The read and write electromagnetic device of the hard disk of a computer.
The springtail is one of the most abundant micro creature on the planet with an estimated 100,000 of them for each cubic meter of soil. The hexapod which is found in leaf litter can jump 100 times their body length in one leap. Leaf detail of the super hydrophobic taro plant. This micrograph shows the detail of the lower surface which comprise an undulating terrain of frosted papilla cells. These papilla cells show a coating of thin waxy platelets of a natural wax, a long carbon chain alcohol which possesses the property of super hydrophobicity. What looks like a little creature here is actually a cotton fiber. The compound eye of a fruit fly. The eye is formed from numerous lens structures known as armatidia. The hairs are believed to be protection against dirt and damage. Cyanoacrylate is a very effective bonding agent especially when sticking non-porous materials or those containing minute traces of water. Those who have used this compound know it is also very good at bonding body tissue. This bothersome side effect of everyday use has been exploited in the medical profession where non-toxic superglues have been developed for the benefit of suture-free surgery. This image shows a section through the wall of a trachea, showing the ciliated epithelial cells. The trachea links the larynx to the lungs. The beading of the cilia, which are the hair-like extensions, moves the mucus and particles upward out of the respiratory tract. This helps to keep the lungs and airways clear and prevent infection. An apple's skin. These tiny nanometers are used in DLP projectors and only microns long each. There are thousands of them on a single chip. This spiracle or air pore is part of the caterpillar's respiratory system. Air diffuses into the spiracle and circulates the body in a network of tubes called trachea. Waste gases exit the body through the spiracles. The hairs around it prevent foreign bodies entering the system. The pistil of a bale flower plant. The pistil is the female reproductive part of a flower. Methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus is a bacterium that is resistant to many antibiotics. It is responsible for several chronic infections such as osteomyelitis, endocarditis or infections of implanted medical devices. These infections are often incurable even when appropriate antibiotics are used. Shown here are parenchyma cells deep within the pear fruit. Pears contain B complex vitamins such as vitamin B2, riboflavin, vitamin C, calcium and phosphorus. A head louse. Each head louse female lays 80 to 100 eggs and the life cycle from egg to adult is only 3 weeks. The core of a graphite pencil. This core is made up of graphite mixed with clay and water and pressed into a rod shape. This is beard hair after being cut with a razor. A micro crack in steel after bending test. This species of deep sea worm inhabits the edges of hydrothermal vents up to 3000 meters below the surface of the Pacific Ocean. 
They feed on bacteria that live directly off minerals released by the vents, a process known as chemosynthesis. The worms also host a population of symbiotic bacteria that may supply the worm with additional nutrients.